This is Into Math 3rd Grade Lesson 13.2, Represent and Name Unit Fractions. I can represent and identify one equal part of a whole or group as a unit fraction. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 358. We will start under Build Understanding Part 1 and you can pause at any time as needed. Katya is painting a fence. She plans to divide the fence into four equal sections. Katya paints one-fourth of the fence. Show how the fence might look after she finishes painting. If you would like to pause and try this part on your own, you may do so or you may follow along with me. The first thing I'm going to do is make a rectangle. Then I'm going to find halfway between the rectangle and draw a line so I'm making two equal parts. And then I'm going to take one line in between one part and one line between the other part and now I have created four equal parts. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in one of the four pieces of fence because our word problem states that she paid in one fourth of the fence. So you can go ahead and do that now. And when I come back, I show that one of the four sections has been colored in. So let's take a look at part A. How many equal parts are in the whole fence? Since we created four equal sections, we know there are four equal parts. Part B, how many equal parts are being counted? Well, we only colored in one, so we would say there is one equal part being counted, and that's the yellow piece. Now let's take a look at part C. What fraction names the painted part of the whole fence? Let's take a look at our connective vocabulary to understand the word fraction. A fraction is a number that names part of the whole, a whole or part of a group. The number of equal parts being counted is compared to the number of equal parts in the whole or in the group. For example, one over six. And they give us some hints here. First, they tell us at the top part, write the number, number of equal parts being counted. Well, we've said here that there's only one being counted, which is the yellow. Then it asks us to write the number of equal parts in the whole. And there are one, two, three, four. There are four parts, equal parts, which we established here. So we have created the fraction one over four. Now let's take a look at the next page, page 359, part two. Lev makes one blue t-shirt and three yellow t-shirts for the Butterfly Watchers Club. What fraction of the t-shirts is blue? Let's do a step-by-step -step and follow part A. Draw Lev's group of t-shirts. Well, let's start by understanding how many t-shirts there are all together. We know that there was one blue shirt and three yellow shirts. So there's going to be a total of four shirts because we know that one plus three makes four. So we can draw those shirts. Um, go ahead and draw four shirts. You can pause if you need to. So now we're going to label each shirt. So again, there was one blue shirt, so we will label this one B for blue, and three yellow shirts. So we will label these three um, Y for yellow. Now we can move on to part B. What fraction names the part of the group that is blue? Once again, let's take a look at our connective vocabulary. A unit fraction names one equal part of the whole or the group. The number of equal parts is counted as one. For example, write one over eight and read one eighth. So now let's go ahead and fill in the information they're asking. We need the number of equal parts being counted. And what we're looking for are the t-shirts that are blue. 
So we're only counting this t-shirt here that has the B on it for blue. So that means that there's only one being counted. Now we're looking for the number of equal parts in the group. And we know there were one, two, three, four t-shirts. So we can write that there were four equal parts in the group. And we would read this as one fourth. As a reminder, you can always stop and rewatch this video at any time and pause along the way as needed.